Facebook is literally scamming Quest 2 owners by stopping them from being able to sell their used headsets. TikTok now owns a VR company, Oculus has a new big update for the Quest, and we have some really cool new game updates that you want to check out. I'm your host Panda, and this is Untitled Series, where we repeat other things that YouTubers have already talked about. All of that, but first, do you like pew pewing enemies? I like pew pewing enemies. The Magni stock by Glisco is a carbon fiber 3D printed gun stock that will improve your aim and immersion in VR shooter games. A while back, I made a video comparing a 3D printed gun stock from Etsy to the MagTube, and this Glisco gun stock is like the perfect hybrid between these two gun stocks as it's cheaper than the MagTube, but uses the same controller attachment design to protect your controllers and ensure smooth tracking. If you've been wanting a decent gun stock but want something cheaper than what the ProTube has to offer, Magni stock is for you, and with my code VIRTUALPANDA, you can even get it even cheaper at 15% off until September 13th. Just follow the link in the description and the discount code will be applied automatically to your purchase. Have you ever just read something so twisted, so ironic, so satisfyingly evil that you just bust out laughing? Like, you know, on Reddit, when you read those stories where people find out about their significant others cheating on them, and then they go ruin their lives for revenge. Well, that's basically how I felt this week, reading the news that the owners of TikTok will be buying Pico. Now, if you don't know, Pico is a Chinese VR company that makes standalone VR headsets that are essentially the Chinese knockoff of a Quest, but they're actually pretty good. Thrill Seeker has a great video going over one of their newest headsets headsets as he was actually able to get his hands on one, which, you know, most Westerners can't. They're only sold in China. Essentially, they're the closest thing that we have to an actual Quest competitor, but they're getting bought out by the mouthpiece of the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. Some people have suggested it, and I'm not saying this is factually accurate or not, but some people are saying that TikTok has access to the data of millions of Americans, and that the CCP, the Chinese government essentially, basically has full access to that data and even uses the app to spread propaganda. In other words, a fascist authoritarian government like China is going to have access to your data through this company. So, you know, altogether, TikTok kind of makes Facebook look like Gandhi or Jesus or something. So if you hate Facebook, don't expect the Pico Neos to be any better if they actually ever come to Western markets because, oh man, oh man, like I said, they make Facebook look like a saint. Talking about Oculus, we have a lot of new things coming from them. First, in another attempt to rip off other ideas that others have already done, we have Horizons Workrooms. This is a first app from Oculus to be built completely around the use of hand tracking. It also has some unique functionality, like the ability to use your controller as a pen by flipping it upside down and writing against a physical surface in the real world to basically write in the virtual one as well. It's also free, so y you know what that means. <laughs> Oculus also released version 32 for the Quest that has three major changes. First, if you're a degenerate TikTok creator and you want your data sold to the Chinese Communist Party, it'll be easier to access recordings you take on your headset as new videos and pictures will automatically sync with the phone app letting you access them directly from your phone. Second, if you're absolutely filthy rich, which is the only situation where I'd see you using this next feature, you can now buy games for other people from within the headset. So if you just happen to be scrolling through the store on your headset and just randomly feel the urge to be, you know, charitably buy a friend an app, you can do it now within the headset. You don't have to go on the app. That The only way you could do it before was through the phone app. But, you know, now you can do it in the headset, which I cool, I guess, but whatever, I, I, I don't care. And then lastly, I doubt very many of you care about this just looking at my analytics, there's an update to Oculus Move that lets you share fitness goals and stats and customize them more easily. Please remember this, if you ever share fitness stats with me, I don't care. Now let's talk about how Oculus is absolutely scamming Quest owners and completely screwing them over. You probably already know about the recall for the facial interface. Essentially, the old interface was causing issues, so now Facebook is sending out free silicon covers, and any new headsets that you buy are now going to come with a silicon cover in the box. They also stopped selling the 64GB version of the Quest and are now only offering the 128GB version and the bigger 256 version. Well, all of this sounds great at first, but as you might expect, the scum of the earth gritty humans that we are, we all tried to sell, or at least, you know, other people, I didn't, they all tried to sell their 64 gigabyte quests for full price, or even more than full price, just so they could get their greedy little hands on a 128 gigabyte version, and maybe make a little bit of profit along the way. Now, they did this because you couldn't buy a quest for a couple of weeks there, so people that didn't know that the new headset was going to be released in just, you know, by the end of August, they were freaking out trying to get a headset, and thinking that they were all just sold out everywhere, and so people were willing to pay 
extravagant prices for even a 64 gigabyte Chrome Quest. It, it, it's really pathetic. Well, now Facebook made it so that you can't actually sell used Quests very easily. I have some screenshots from a couple people who've tried selling their headset on Facebook Marketplace, for example, which, you know, that's probably the most common place to buy and sell used items locally. That's that's where I buy and sell everything personally. But anyways, they got their listings of the Quest 2 taken down by Facebook. Facebook was telling them, you can't sell this here. You're not allowed to sell the Quest 2 on Facebook Marketplace. I know someone who even took it to a GameStop and GameStop wouldn't accept it. And there are several other places that aren't willing to let you buy or sell the device. Now, you might be asking, why? Why not? Well, simply put, Facebook and many other places have policies against selling recalled products. You can't sell a recalled product because presumably it doesn't work or it's even dangerous possibly. This means that even though the Oculus Quest works perfectly fine, you're not allowed to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or other similar places because that stupid facial interface got a recall. So Facebook, either in a diabolically evil move or simply by accident, not really thinking it through, they just made it way harder to sell a used quest, meaning that they're much more likely to sell brand new quests to people because there's not going to be a secondhand market. And I don't think this is a problem that's just going to go away with the new release of the new headsets with the new silicon cover, because how are the marketplace algorithm bots going to know the difference between the new one that's not recalled and the old one that is. So this is a big issue and it really pisses me off. Not like any of that is going to matter as I believe Oculus is getting ready to release a new headset soon. Oculus Connect this year is scheduled for October 28th so keep your eyes and ears open. If they have anything new to announce at Oculus Connect we should start seeing some leaks soon. Now before we go on let me ask you a question. Do you think it's wise to put on a VR headset and then run around the room like a madman? If you said yes then you'd be absolutely Absolutely right. Space Pirate Trainer, a classic VR game from 2016, is getting a major update to include arena mode, where you'll be able to do exactly what I just said. Put on the headset and run around the room with a bunch of other people who also have headsets on. We've seen these kinds of experiences popping up in VR arcades, where, you know, you'll actually have people watching you and making sure you don't kick each other in the face. But now you'll be able to do it in your own home. You know, just assuming that you happen to have an empty 32-foot square or 50-foot square play area to play in. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Who doesn't have a 32-foot square area with absolutely nothing inside of it? I mean, I, I guess, you know, if you don't, then you could go outside and just do it. Oh, wait, no, actually, actually, no, no, you're not supposed to go outside either. Well, what if, no, 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 breaking into your school gym isn't a good idea either. Well, in any case, if not the arena mode, you can at least try their new mode called Versus, where shockingly you play versus someone like, wow. What a revolutionary name. All joking aside, I am actually pretty excited for both of these modes. They're going to be a ton of fun. One question I see get asked surprisingly a lot is if there's a good language learning app in VR. Well, launching last week, we now have on the quest, Mundly. Mundly? 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 It's a weird word. The benefit of using Mundly to learn a language is that it puts you in a real life situation where you speak the language out loud and it looks like you also get instant feedback. So depending on how much content there is, this looks like a great way to supplement learning language. I mean, assuming you like hanging out with unsettling avatar faces that look like they want to kill you. Do you like playing Beat Saber? Of course you like playing Beat Saber. Who doesn't like playing Beat Saber? And who doesn't like paying for more crappy music to play on Beat Saber? Releasing August 31st tomorrow, we will have a new DLC music pack and we have no idea what music is going to be in it. This trailer gives us no information whatsoever. So, you know, fantastic marketing Beat Saber. Round of applause. No wonder you're looking for a new marketing team. And then in the last bit of news, Green Hell, a highly anticipated survival game. Like literally, I cannot wait for this. I love survival games it got delayed to q1 of 2022 so that's great basically every good vr game we were excited to see this year is getting delayed so that's fun there was a ton of other news that i missed but i was out of town last week and i didn't post a video and unfortunately i'm going to be out of town again next week but after that i will be ramping up production again and making even better content i have plans to really improve the quality of everything so subscribe if you're excited and want to stick around for that also feel free to jump into my discord if you want to meet up with other vr enthusiasts it's kind of dead in there and um yeah i don't want it to be dead i, I come 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 make it alive come come make discord my discord a little bit more alive i also want to thank my youtube members you guys make this possible but that's it i'm out